God, for some reason, has spared me. Perhaps to tell the story today. So uh, I was a mom that had a two and a half year old and I was pregnant with uh, my second son. And he comes along and I have two boys at this point and along with the second one came a, a package that I didn't expect of just heaviness, sadness, a little bit of uh, confusion. I was torn between who I was as a mom, who I was in my home, and who this person was this, that was living in my head. And so it was this place that I couldn't explain to anybody, including my husband. I tried to hide as much as I could. I did not make eye contact with people. I kept my house as dark as possible. I cl closed every drape in the house and pinned it to the wall, taped it down so no light would even creep in. That's the kind of darkness that took over my life. And now it got to a point where I wanted out. I wanted out, out. I wanted the ultimate exit, and that was to be away from all of this reality. And I attempted, I overdosed multiple times. And um, the Lord spared me. I grew up Christian, but I didn't read the Bible or look into the Word with a sense of seeking and searching like my life depended on it. And now my life depended on it. And so I put away my reading plans and I started to look into the scriptures for me. A person that was hurting, frustrated, mad at God, desperate, dreading life. And I started to see me in stories like David, especially the book of Psalms, where he just starts to express his every emotion to the Lord. And I started to see that a lot of the words in my journal were in the scriptures. I know the story of Easter, but I had never noticed or focused in or zoomed in on Jesus in the garden where he wanted out too. I started to fight back with the Lord and said, Lord, again, like Peter said, I have no avenue but you, Lord. It's, you're all I know. You're all I know. And he um, started to put this strong pressing on my heart that said, this is just a season and I need you to endure it and you will find out why. And while this was going on, there was a, a, a large women's event at our church and I'm sitting in the seat going, I'm alone here. There's 400 women in this room. I'm alone here. Sat through the whole thing, just feeling miserable. I couldn't even fake a laugh. And the night ended, I come home, put the kids to bed, and I get in bed and I'm still struggling with insomnia at this time. And I go, Lord, what's, what is this? What is this feeling, this heaviness? Why is it not going away? And it was getting intense. It was getting more intense than it already was. As the sun's coming up, there's a little light that stole its way into the house, into the room. And I had this strong dawning on my heart. I've never felt that before where it went. I knew it was the Lord because it was, I knew that I knew that it was Him because it went. You know how you felt in that large room with all those women all around you, but you felt alone, you felt isolated, you felt like no one else was going through this. There's several others like you in those chairs. I need you to call them out of the dark. I need you to share your story now. I went, Lord, I don't have healing yet. I'm still struggling. I'm still struggling, Lord. I'm still heavy. I'm still a mess. I'm still having to peel myself off the floor every single day. And you want me to share my story? I don't have five steps to healing from depression. It was not me, but I started to share my story with people. And out of that, little by little, one person after the other started to come to me and tell me, I'm going through this already. I'm, 
I'm going through this too. My son's going through this. My family's going through this. And so many people that I already knew. And I went, oh my God, Lord, this is why you asked me to share my story. God knows us. He knows us. And He knows even how we need to heal. And that just blows me away. It blows me away. Journal. Talk to me. Listen to my word. Share your heart with people. Listen to their heart. And healing started to unfold in, I think, all of these put together. I walked through this journey with depression for a solid six years. And uh, it was supposed to be just postpartum, but it just kept stretching out. And the six years are done, but you know, life happens and it starts to sting every once in a while. But I know where to go to now. I know that those scriptures are waiting for me, that there's hope, there's life in the Word of God. Every time I start to feel that little sting again of depression, I know where to go. My hope in Jesus, He is that foundation that I can step out on. He is that hope that I can step out on. My name is Julie Thomas, and I am second.